So we're given these three rational functions, and we want to find you know, the equation of the horizontal asymptote. Okay? And what we want to do is we want to consider these three cases here. You want to look at the highest powered term in the numerator and the highest powered term in the denominator. So that's the one with the highest exponent. And what you do is you look and you say, well, if the exponents are the same, meaning the m equals n in this uh, example here, then the horizontal asymptote is going to be the ratio of those two coefficients. It's going to be a divided by b. But say that this exponent in the numerator is smaller than the one in the denominator, or you could say the one in the denominator is greater than the one in the numerator, either way. Then the horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 0. It's going to be right at the x-axis. And the third scenario is when m is greater than n, meaning the numerator's exponent is higher than the denominator's exponent, then we have uh, no horizontal asymptote, or if it's just uh, one degree uh, larger than the denominator, then it's a slant asymptote. Okay, so I'll show you the three examples. So the first one here, what do you think? Well, you can see these are both x to the first. Okay, so it's a tie. So what that means is we end up with the ratio of the coefficients, which is y equals 2 fourths, which reduces to 1 half. So your horizontal asymptote would look something like that. For number two, you can see that the denominator's degree is two, the numerator's degree is only one, the denominator's degree is higher, so our horizontal asymptote is gonna be y equals zero. That's gonna be right at the x-axis, okay? And then the third one, you can see that the highest degree term here, x squared, compared to the highest degree term of the denominator, two x, this is a two for an exponent, that's only a one. Here you can see that because this is larger in the numerator by one uh, degree, you're actually going to have a slant asymptote. And in order to find that slant asymptote, what you would do is you would do uh, long division, polynomial long division, to find the equation of that slant asymptote. If you want to find out more about graphing, how to actually graph these entire rational functions, follow me over to that video right there, and we'll discuss how to do all the different aspects of graphing rational functions. I'll see you over in that video.